Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing today? I'm doing just fine. I hope you're doing well. Well, another day. Going out for a walk. And uh, taking a walk at a uh, very famous area. McFarland uh, Fort. And uh, some of the uh, grounds here that they have uh, fought. Uh, the Union right over here and uh, their cannons are behind that you can see the monument there let me bring it up into focus a little bit and the monument to commemorate the uh, the battle area uh, and don't talk too much about this area here. Maybe it wasn't too famous of the battle, I don't know, but a lot of Confederates died, 1800s, man. Not one survived. They dropped their weapons and pack and tried to cross the river to the other side, which is here. The river is right behind that big tree there. A little further behind, but I'll show you that as I walk by. This uh, this is a mark, the fence line for where the battle took place. The boundary says the south boundary, and the south boundary. The sun is above us. Would be right about here, and all this here. Look at that. And that's south. This is west. We're heading west here. And they were being attacked from right above here, which is about west to northwest. And they were firing there, which is about east, northeast direction. East is right about here. So they were firing right about here. They were running away from the blast. They were occurring up here, 50 cannons. So, wow. Quite a battle. Didn't last long. Only lasted one hour. That's it. One hour and they all died. Not one survived. And then there's a plaque there that shows the uh, some description about what occurred during this battle. Okay, here's a river right there. And they ran across there, and they tried to, but not one of them made it. I mean, can you imagine? 58 cannons all the way up here, firing explosive shells, balls. I don't know what to call that, that term, but and into that whole area here? Wow. And I don't know about infantry, if they had any out here or not. Not sure there was any. I think there was. And here you can see the river bending. Yeah, I'll take a walk here. I'm sorry for the road noise. It's, you know, we're approaching an overpass. I'm going under the pass. A lot of traffic out here. One of the main highways. Not really a highway, just a two-lane road, but a lot of traffic. Could be a four-lane road, no, two lanes. Okay, here you see a silhouette or a figure made out of metal that the Confederates were shooting in that direction. So they were shooting, they couldn't see the cannons. The cannons are behind that uh, the level here, they can't see them, and they're firing in that direction. So they had to have infantry here, or some sort. They had to have infantry. You always, I think you always have infantry to protect your cannons, right? That makes sense to me. So they were firing upon them in this area here, and then they knew they couldn't win, so they dropped all their weapons and gears and start running right out here, not too far away, over the river. Wow. And uh, none of them made it. 
None of them made it. And I'm sure there's a burial site they have for the Confederates. I know there's one nearby. And uh, maybe we may visit that later. I'm on, taking a walkway heading towards that river and see if I could see anything down there, like a plague or anything like that, to verify that we just passed on back there. But we may get back that later. I have to watch my step here. It's very muddy. What's this? Huh. Why would they build a funnel like that going down? Is that to control something? Maybe to get water or something? I don't know. Did the Confederates do that? Oh wait, there's steps over here. There's steps going down there. Why would there be steps? Oh, you know what? This was done by the Confederates. I would think. It makes sense to me. Why? 1800 soldiers? You need to drink, you need to bathe. That's a good idea. Right next to the river, you got water. And you also have a place to fire back at, at the Union troops. Yeah. Well, this is cement. I don't know about those symbols there. I don't know if that's been there since the battle. That's cement. Hmm. That could have been put on after the bricks are put, uh, the stones are put on, but there, someone felt that they were getting unstable, like over here, they're starting to break away, maybe because of the current or something. That's deep. There's a something down here. You know, um, you got to be careful when you walk in these areas. You know why? They've been finding some cannonballs. They have explosion, explosive devices in them. And when you uh, mess with them, they explode. I don't think they explode when you step on them, but when you start drilling it on them, they will blow up on you. There's been some cases of that happening. What the hell is down here? It's not a cannon. It just looks... Oh, that's an old tree bark. It looks like. So it goes all the way down there. It is even uh, created. Not the Confederates, I don't think. This, this way wouldn't last this long. Not 160 years. Wow. Man, look at this river. Wow. You don't want me to fall down, do you? <laughs> ah, look at that. You know, I see folks uh, when I come out, when I came out here a couple of times. I see folks uh, kayaking out here, and uh, I would like to try that one day, if possible. But check this out. Right now, it's flooding, and it's flooding because we had a lot of snow that started, that had melted and it's working its way down from other areas. This is a long river, so we're getting a lot of water. My wife and I, we visit a dam in uh, Walter Hill, and uh, <laughs> that dam was putting out a lot of water over, over the dam. It's not a dam that's created to... Uh, make a lake or anything like that it's just a dam to pull some of the water back and I'm sure it's having a hard time right now rolling this all this water down wow that's amazing check out these rocks here Some old cedar trees interesting we're uh, on grounds, folks, that uh, where the battle took place. Soldiers have died right here, all along the banks here. And even if you got cover behind the rocks, 
with all the firepower coming from over that ridge there it's not going to save you man and crossing this bridge I imagine trying to cross this bridge with this kind of current you know what it's going to do once you step in it's going to drag you all the way down there and you know what that might not be a bad idea to get away from all this like if you're running away well, makes sense to me jump in and let the current take you to the other side stay on the water right yeah but if you look at the width of this river that's a long ways to swim look at how it just widens out over here yes and then you got to go on up if incline there's a, like a hill there wow and the current is always looks like it's coming from to the right going to my right going to my left so they would have to be floating this way right up there like that if they're going to float our bodies are floating and i'm sure there were bodies floating ah it's getting gross okay well i'm gonna take a walk here at this uh, path uh, i'm being careful now because uh, I don't want to do anything stupid to hurt myself. Okay. And this is, again, your good leg goes up to lift and your bad leg goes down first. Good leg goes up first to lift your body up. Your bad leg goes down first when you start to go down. Okay. So I'm going to lift with my other leg, which is supposed to be the good leg, and this is the Let's call this the bad leg, which is not <laughs> anymore. But um, it has a prosthesis. So what's going to happen when I have my knee surgery on my right leg, this is going to be the good leg. This is going to be the bad leg. I'm going to have to baby this thing. So it's going to be lifting up with this leg. So you got it? Okay, good. All right, here we go. I have an obstacle to climb over. Here's the way you handle a obstacle. Lift. Keep my balance. Ooh, this is all muddy. And you know what it is? Slipping and sliding. I'm not going to go that way. Uh, I need to walk back. So just give you a view of the area again. What occurred here. All the way along here. Along here. And looks like all the way along here. Yeah. 1800 Confederate soldiers lost their lives here. Alright, that was good. Now, I gotta step down. So, what am I stepping down with? Supposedly, supposed to be my bad leg. We're gonna pretend like this one's that bad leg and it's not. Okay, come down, keep your good leg up. It took the weight as you were stepping down. That's why this comes in last. And then you take it off and then you you know, continue walking. Oh, well, this was an interesting area. Now, i got to be careful here because this is all muddy and slippery. And it's an incline. I have to go up. I'm going to step on grass because it's a lot more solider than slippery mud. Okay. Yeah. I hope you folks are enjoying this. And I mean by enjoying is not the lives of soldiers I'm talking about. Receiving some knowledge about what occurred here and also uh, how I'm doing. And gives you some instructions on how to deal with it and you go through with it. And what happens afterwards. So this is the plaque. Uh, 1863, January 2nd, late afternoon. And this is the battle that took place, right over here. I'm going to read it to you because you might not be able to see it. Near here, four Confederate regiments from Kentucky charged for over a mile to assault the Federal troops guarding the side of Stones River. The cost of their late afternoon attack was stunning. Over 430 of the 1,200 men in the ranks were killed, wounded, or captured. 
Hmm. I don't know if that's the uh, Union or is that the Confederate? I heard, I read the Confederate, all of them died, all in 1800. Oh, well, let's continue reading. These Kentucky troops called themselves the orphans of the Army of Tennessee. They had hoped their home state would lead the Union. But Kentucky never voted to secede or succeed. Unlike Alabama, Tennessee, or Mississippi soldiers, Kentucky orphans had little chance of getting supplies, mail, or even a pair of new socks from loved ones. These orphan homes were behind Union lines. I think there were some additional troops in there besides them. Uh, oh well. My poor orphan brigade, they have cut it to pieces. Yeah, they sure did. Cannon power is a lot of power. I read one plaque that they drop all the equipment and, and rifles and all that to run away. So they show showing here holding them. I don't know. It's hard to say which one is correct. But anyway, that's something you can, you folks can do to research. I'm not here to give you a history lesson. Uh, basically here to walk and it'll be part of the total knee replacement uh, episodes and and the videos. Not that I enjoy, not not that I don't enjoy doing this. I mean, I think it's very interesting, knowledgeable, and good to know. Uh, hopefully, they'll teach our children about this and uh, how destructive uh, causes and opinions can be. So, and what the reasons are. So, so anyway, that. Oh wait, there's another plaque there. Let's see what that says. Could be interesting. And then I'm going to call it a wrap. And let's see what this plaque says. No bicycles or skates. That's irrelevant. Okay. That's good. Take a look here. Wow, looks like that water river receded all the way out here. There had to be some, some more severe flooding here a couple of days ago. Alright, I'm walking on the side of this path because of all this mud here. When it came up, I slid up that side. You see my footprints there? <laughs> see my footprints there? Yeah. So, but the knee, my prosthesis knee, caught that very well. Okay, so here we are with this flag. It's called the McFadden's Fort. I think I pronounced that correctly. And we're talking about here uh, pursuit to shoot and shell kind of, Some 1,800 Confederates were killed or wounded in less than an hour. And somewhere I read that all 1,800 died here. Maybe it was back there someplace. I don't know. It was cold, wintry weather, present out the very. This is the uh, a poem. Uh, I should say. This is a song that they sang. There's a picture of the. As a period, and to try to get away from the shadow, uh, my shadow. Hopefully, you'll be able to get this. And uh, this is where the stone area is at, and the sh uh, cannons are. Uh, I think. Yeah, this is a river here. Yeah. Here, this is a river. This is. I can't tell. They're all moving that way. Maybe not. Looks like there were a couple of fightings going on in different areas. That looks like the river. Yeah. 
just made that bend there. We were sitting over here. We're standing here, I think. So, and then the cannons should have been over here. Should have been over here someplace. So, but this is, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over here. Well, let me find out. This line here is uh, what they were singing in unison. That means the federal and the union. Uh, the union heard it and they were singing. And uh, the federal band struck up a slowly and softly home sweet home. They were singing. Immediately a confederate a confederate band caught up the song then one after another until all bands of both armies were playing this strain. So they all sang this together. And I can't sing the song. I have no idea what the melody is, but uh, I can read it out to you. It says, Out in the darkness of this cold December night, amidst the dense cedars, and rough boulders along the banks of Stone River, whose sad, and I think is a quotation mark here, so the song would begin here, whose sad, slow stream, its noiseless flood, pour with the glancing pebbles, all silent now, the federal stood, all silent stood the rebels. No heart or soul had heard unmoved that plaintive notes appealing. So sweetly, home, sweet home, but stirred the hidden fount of feeling. I'd like to get, I'd like to hear this song here. I'd like to see what it really sounded like, how they were singing. It's interesting. So, that's the battle of the McFadden's Fort. I guess it was a fort because they had equipment here and they probably did some earthworks out here. Whatever. Well, folks. I think I'm gonna call this a wrap. Um, it's a sad and sorry note. Uh, wars usually are. Uh, dumb cases we celebrate. Um, other cases we sorrow. But um, that's what war is, devastating, for whatever reason. So anyway, um, I hope I wasn't too depressing. I hope I wasn't uh, too discouraging in any way of thinking. But, uh, but the walk was good. Go back to walk if I may, if that's okay with you. And you can always get some more information about this, uh, checking out your history and, and the internet. But the walk was good. It was, it was up here, all the way up here, all the way up there. I went up to the monument, all, I walked all the way around there, I walked all the way down here, walked all the way down here, underneath this here, all the way down there, back to the parking lot, and back to my car which is where I'm heading right now. So, anyhow, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too depressing, but educational. This walk is meant to show you about how I'm doing. I'm doing fine, walking good. And uh, I hope you can hear me. Uh, a lot of noise here. But anyway, I'll get closer to the camera. Um, doing good. And uh, I'm going to call this a wrap. Thank you very much for um, watching. If you'd like to uh, subscribe, that's up to you. And if you want to clip, up to you. Uh, I have no monetary value from YouTube. I'm not 
well, well no. I got a couple of videos. And, and my views are under 300. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but and when I get to that point, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you for watching. You all have a good day. Until next time. Goodbye.